And one of the biggest hot button issues as of late, rallies held in central several cities this weekend, some in support of the post office, others wanting the postmaster General Lewis DeJoy to resign. Well, this morning, he will appear in front of the House Oversight Committee questioning his motives for changes that could impact the election. CBS 4 Charlene Cristobal joins us now with a look at the very latest. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Nick. Yeah, the Postmaster General actually said that those changes that he was going to implement will be postponed until after the November 3rd election just to make sure that everything can get those mail-in ballots in on time. Now, this actually comes as several states, actually around 20, announced plans to file, file a federal lawsuit against the USPS. So a lot of things going Going on with this. Now, this all came to light after the Postmaster General sent letters to several states saying delay in delivery times meant that mail in ballots were not guaranteed to make it in time. Indiana also received one of those letters. Now, those delays, he said, were partially be partly because of financial issues. In a surprise session on Saturday, the House passed a bill that would make sure the post office could handle the November election and also ensure that those ballots would get delivered on time. The bill would give the agency $25 billion and reverse the actions that slowed down mail delivery until the pandemic is over. Democrats say changes made by the Postmaster General are the reason for the delayed mail delivery. I used my bill to fund the post office and to stop the disastrous changes that uh, Postmaster General DeJoy put in place. His policies have slowed down the mail 10 percent. Meanwhile, Republicans think that this is less about operational changes, saying the USPS does not need this money, but if they do get it, it needs to be prioritized. I think my colleagues on both sides of the aisle need assurances that we'll, it will be spent where Americans need it most. The prioritization of medical deliveries and ballots for this election. Now, the bill did pass in the House. It is unlikely to do the same in the Senate. The USPS released a statement last night saying parts of the bill, quote, while well-meaning, will constrain the ability of the Postal Service to make operational changes that will improve efficiency, reduce cost, and ultimately improve service to the American people. Senate Majority Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said Sunday that a subcommittee will investigate the Postal Service's changes, even though, again, they will be postponed until after the election. Now, the Postmaster General's hearing with the House Oversight Committee will be at 10 this morning. We'll be watching and we'll let you know what happens. For now, I'll send it back to you.